Hey guys, welcome to Mount Movement. Welcome to Technical Tuesdays. Yeah, that was perfect. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to true a wheel, so stick around. Sooner or later, I'm gonna give you guys enough information that you can just build your own bike. Let's get to it. When I talk to people who are learning to be like mechanics, they're like, oh, I know how to do everything but smoke. Spokes. Smokes. Spokes. That just always amazes me because truing a wheel is probably the most easiest thing to do. You just have to have a lot of patience and you have to be willing to kind of just like mess around. The guy I learned from, he always told me that it's like a guessing game, okay? You just kind of have to adjust, maneuver, adjust to make sure that, you know, everything is correct. The thing about truing is you don't always have to get like a perfect true. You can get pretty close, but what is called chasing the true, you're never gonna get a perfectly true wheel because you know, it's just things are imperfect, not perfect. So the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna center it up on your truing stand. And it's gonna be really hard to uh, true a wheel if you don't have a truing stand, but you can also flip your bike over and you can put it in actually your bike and you can true it there as well and then you can just use like a paper clip as your kind of gauge of where you want to go but the reason why you want a truing stand is you want to center it so that it is perfectly centered down your uh, your bike so right now mine is centered and as you can see there's this space right here and there's this space right here and this is for a tune-up for a client so I'm going to true this wheel up for him I'm going to pull in these levers until I turn it and it rubs slightly against the wheel. Do you see that? Do you, do you hear how it goes for a little bit and then it doesn't? It's okay. The wheel is obviously out of true. It's a very old wheel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where it's rubbing. So we go from here to here. And so it's rubbing on this side. So what I wanna do is I wanna put it towards this side. So what I have to do is I have to tighten the spokes, the ones that are on this side of the wheel, I have to tighten those. And then I have to loosen these. So, and then you always wanna go in very small turns. I literally, it's literally for me, my first turn on all of these is gonna be like a, so. Barely anything. Turn this way, this one the other way. Loosen. Tight. All right, let's see. All right, it touches it for a less period of time. And sometimes when you're chasing the true, wobbleness of the wheel will go all the way around the wheel, like all over the place. And so you just have to follow it and you have to be patient. So it's still touching this side. So I want it to go over here. So I'm going to loosen this one, tighten this one, loosen this one. Voila, okay? So now you wanna set that true or you wanna put it under tension. Squeeze parallel spokes and you wanna kinda of be kind of, you know, hard on it and you wanna squeeze them tightly. This, this makes sure that your spokes set Make sure that everything is in working order. I should have started at the uh, air valve, but uh, so I'm just gonna guesstimate. All right, now you go back to it, exactly where you're at, and you see if it rubs again. It doesn't. So then your next step is you can turn it in a little bit. It's touching right, right there. So you find the area where it's touching, which is right here. All right, and then so you're gonna loosen on where it's touching, tighten on the other side, loosen on this side, tighten on this side. The problem with this wheel is that it's all, all of the tension is on this side and there's no tension on this side because it's not center, as you can see. So the gauge 
is touching this is closer to this wheel and then there's a larger gap right here so what you want to do to make sure that that's not what's happening is you want to tighten every spoke a little bit of a turn don't even worry about your truing yet to get it on the correct the, the correct distance from your gauges it's right here on this side you can take the wheel and flip it see how it's touching right there it's all, all touching that's telling me that the, that the wheel is not centered there's also a centering gauge tool that you can use but you don't necessarily need it all the time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten every spoke. So I'm going to tighten every spoke on this side to move it that way. This will most likely put your wheel out of true, and so you'll just need to true it again. The thing is, this is probably one of the most rewarding things other than building a full bike. I'm barely turning anything. I would say that that's a pretty good distance. That's a pretty good gap between the gauge. So I'm going to start truing again. Touch it right there. Just follow these little bumps until your gauge right here is just completely closed, which for me it, it almost is. It's almost completely closed. This isn't a super out of true wheel. Loosen. I get it right the first time but you know my teacher told me that you can almost never tighten spokes too tightly so that's not something you need to worry about you could break them which the worst comes worse you just get more spokes and so just take your time with experiment see what works and see what doesn't because there's no reason that you can't do this by yourself still giving me a little bit of play this way so I want to tighten it one more time all the spokes on this side to make it go this direction I'm starting out the valve I'm just doing every other one a little bit at a time Start truing again. almost touching on the other side too and it's just it's just really this simple um, building a wheel is a little bit more complicated which I can make a video of so as you see right here we're kind of getting to the end it's touching both sides so what you want to do is you want to start I just start on the left see where it's touching and I just move it that way but you're gonna you're gonna get to the point where it's just not gonna be perfect 
it's gonna be good enough and it's gonna be a true wheel. Like I, I roll this, this is rolling very well. I just wanna make it very tight because I'm so closed in on my gauges. So start on the left. the opposite so it's touching on my side over here so you want to loosen all the spokes on this side that are where it's touching at and you want to tighten all the spokes that are on this side mm. Break in the spokes or make the spokes set in. Go around the wheel, around the wheel, around the wheel, around the wheel, around the wheel. And those all feel really good to me. Just like this. And I'm gonna just check each spoke. If I have, I'm gonna start just all. I'm looking for, you know, all these are kind of showing the same 25 and tension. I would be worried if there was one that said like 10. That's telling me that I'm gonna need to tighten that spoke. For that, that is base. That is how you true will. Thank you for tuning in and. Uh, and so that's going to be it for today. Uh, tune in next Tuesday and Friday for more videos. If you're in the comments, you know, and you want to see something, you're working on a bike, and you want to see me do something, or, you know, if I don't even know how to do it, we can work through it together. Um, but, uh, yeah. Come on. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. There's nothing I don't know how to do. There's nothing. Or I don't know how to do anything.